Hi guys, welcome to my plant favourites. I'm just gonna get right into it. So my overall favourite of the past to a say month is this Skindapsis? Silvery Anne, it's like a satin pothos, but it's slightly different. I think the Silvery Anne just has the silvery bits towards the tip. Like more, it's more sort of concentrated. I do not know if that's true, but that seems to be what it is. They were really expensive like two years ago. This one was 4 99 so they've, you know, they're pretty cheap now. For reasons best known to itself, it's just decided to start growing. We've got this vine, which is, you know, this is a very skinned up thing to do. And we've also got a new leaf coming here and a new leaf coming here. So yeah, something's happened and he's just living life. So I thought that should get a bit of recognition on the internet. It, they're just super easy, like it gets, I'd say the low end of medium light. It's not an ideal position, but it seems to thrive there. They've got quite thick, dark leaves, which would suggest that they're quite happy in lower light. So that's what it's got. Like it would probably grow really well in brighter light, but I've got plants that need it more. So that's what we get. Uh, also this maidenhair fern, which I mention quite often, like you can see it's starting to get a bit of winter death growth <laughs> where it just starts crisping up. Oh, that fell off. Bin, bin. But we've also got like, this is a new frond, then this is a new frond. So I think as long as I keep um, getting rid of the old growth and make sure it stays washed. Yeah, see there's still new growth. You probably won't be able to pick this up. But there is still new growth right at the bottom of my finger. Um, so yeah. Like maidenhair ferns can thrive in colder environments, not like cold, cold, but colder than most tropical plants. So it may, see this is a new frond. So it may grow all through winter, we shall see. Uh, I have moved it off the bathroom window though because I was scared it was gonna get a bit cold. Sorry, it's so dark, but it's super bright outside and it's that low winter sun where it comes right at your face. This isn't an actual favorite, but I just wanted to mention it because She's doing really well and I don't want her to think I haven't noticed because, so she's got a new leaf, right? So it's this Philodendron Pink Princess. I've repotted her, she was in a tiny pot, which I think was the reason that this leaf has got a bit dry at the end. But if I turn it around, you can kind of see, you absolutely can't see. There's a lot of variegation. So this this plant was really cheap. It was like 16.99. I think it might've got a bit stuck. You can see like, got a little hump here where it's trying to, you know, this bit hasn't quite broken through yet. But there, it's not particularly highly variegated. There's like this spot, and like a little bit on this one on the edge, but not a lot more. But apparently um, the variegation in Pink Princesses is not particularly stable. So you can end up with like no variegation or a decent amount. And I think this new leaf, I really, I really want to unfurl it. And part of me is like, just do it because it's, you know, it's pretty crispy anyway. No, don't, don't. But it looks really nicely variegated. So like almost half moon like, obviously I can't see the other half, but yeah, I'm just going to put that down and try and leave it alone. Uh, next, I just want to mention my jade plant. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll know this jade plant has had a life. It started off as a cutting from my dad's and it grew really well. Like cuttings from jade plants, it just went straight into soil and it grew fine. It's almost like not, it, they root so, so easily. Or well, this one did anyway. And this was in like proper nasty, cheap soil that was probably over watered, but it just seemed to do really well. Then they got spider mites and we got down to a stump it had one tiny leaf, maybe like two. I mean like individual leaves, not like a florist. A, a florid. <laughs> and just a stump, I mean, it was just decimated. And then look at it. So if you don't know, whoa, what's happening here? That is, that is root bound. So basically none of this is new growth. This was all just stem left over and the spider mites ate all the leaves or they sucked all the life out of them and then the leaves fell off. But then I put it outside and what happens is every like little node on it, it will start to regrow. It starts in the bottom and then goes up. It did these as well, but you know, if I left it outside, well, if I left it outside, it would die because it's cold. 
but if I keep the light up really high it will eventually regrow all up here hopefully I think I there seems to be a lot of not misinformation because they do get root rot really easily and they don't need so much water but also this was outside in England and it has rained quite a lot this summer and I have been watering as well but it's still got these aerial roots now aerial roots these are better ones Can you see on there covered in aerial roots now succulents produce aerial roots when they don't get enough water from the soil and that it got plenty of water my only theory is that perhaps it's root bound I really don't want to snap it no it's stuck in there but I'm not repotting it because I don't want it to grow it will grow bigger but I don't want it to I don't want to like encourage it to grow bigger I may have to do a root trim at some point which I know a lot of people don't agree with but it is the way you know I can't have a massive I mean these are these are trees they can grow they grow into people use them as hedges they are huge and they have the potential to grow quite quickly not really here because we don't have the light but you know they can sort of just take off and I don't really want that so I'm gonna keep it as it is but yeah my only worry is it gets spider mites again and we go back to the start but we'll see my next favourite is the leggiest it's not right it's not the leggiest plant in the world but it, it is a hilarious growth pattern uh, for a plant that is typically seen to be a bit more bushy um, it was $64.99 uh, I don't know what we got it reduced to my boyfriend bought it for me doesn't say it was cheap anyway so it's this mottled syngonium and it is beautiful but if you look at how leggy it is I need to do something with this I mean it's ridiculous that it like it doesn't like growing like this we've got these tiny little leaves although I have noticed uh, the variegation is getting better it's definitely getting whiter variegation I think that might just be the light I've got it in uh, look at this leaf it's like a double it's one leaf like it's joined at the top but it looks like two <laughs> that sounded a better story in my head see that looks like a normal leaf but it's not it's two so yeah I've wanted a syngonium Albo for a while but they are quite expensive and I love syngoniums and I do think they're really easy to look after uh, I do like a plant that collapses when it's thirsty because I just like that they tell you although they do take an, an age to grow like to come back just to put the fear of god in you but I just wasn't that fussed about spending a lot of money on it and I, I think it was half price so I'm saying I'm thinking like it was 30 pounds but as I said my boyfriend bought it for me and you may be thinking aren't you lucky to have a boyfriend that buys plants for you and yes I am however he also bought me another plant and I do like it and I am grateful for it but he definitely bought it for him but he completely forgot that it was him that liked it and not me I actually find these plants quite creepy I have got used to it but I don't like the growth pattern and I think I am literally the only person that has house plants that doesn't like these again this was reduced half price it is not in great shape uh, but it's this Monstera Dubai -a. I don't like the way they like I don't like it uh, this one has actually grown off the board we've got another one downstairs and we're again doing a leggy thing uh, I'm assuming that to get them to grow this close you need a lot of light and to have them grow to something to grow up I have got a board for it I've got a few actually um, but because I want to grow my mycans up my, but my mycans currently look like hell so we'll wait until that's recovered from whatever it's got I would need to get it out it's in a massive pot like this is a plant and then look at the size of the pot like it's unnecessary uh, we did not pay 100, 185 pounds for it uh, but I would need to like take it out of the pot I'm guessing like the roots are only on the front half and then this is just soiled behind because the plank's like right in the middle I'm assuming but I have to like get it out and then like mess around with it and get its roots out and I don't want to do that now I'd rather wait until summer will it be next summer will it be four summers from now who knows also like how do you get the how, how, how can I get it to relinquish the board that it's on now or can I not I, I'm guessing I can't like it, it's proper stuck on there um I might just have to like slide it up behind I suppose I could prop it 
No, don't do that. Don't do that. So yeah, if anybody has any tips or knows how to get the roots off one board onto another, please let me know. So I think that's all my favourites this month. Oh, my varicosum. I always thought varicosums were difficult to look after. The size of this leaf. Like, we've got another, so we've got this one coming here. I just think they're amazing, like that colour and the stripe. We've got another leaf coming here. It's still wobbling. But I don't think it's root rot. I think maybe it's just not particularly stable. I'm guessing maybe it hasn't, it was a cutting and hasn't been in the pot for that long. This is the newest leaf, I think. Yeah, this is the newest leaf. You can tell because it's like more vibrant and the back. <sighs> now I'm colour blind. So red and green aren't normally the best for me, but this one, like it's quite pleasing. It's probably not even red or green, is it? Anyway. So yeah, those are my plant favourites for the month. Um, I've not had anybody that's behaved really badly. I try not to shame my plants, you know, they're all just doing their best. But this one, it's really starting to get on my nerves. It, I'm moving it closer and it doesn't seem to be getting any bigger on camera. Which leaf am I even looking at? Oh, it's the back. Oh, it's gone. Oh, God. Right, so this is my Florida Green. She's very leggy. I've tried to prop her several times. Can I actually get a leaf in the frame? There you go. I've tried to prop her and she's just not interested. Like she does not root, she just rots. Uh, I've tried a million different ways. I've tried a million, you know. I've tried soil, I've tried water, I've tried the aero garden, I've tried the fish tank, I've tried soil. I've tried everything. I've been so, like I've had them in, like trying for months and months and months and she's just not interested. Um, so yeah, and she's so leggy. She also is really like, she's not top heavy, but because the petioles are so long, she's really not staying upright in the pot. And my house isn't big enough to deal with her. I've put her in self-watering um, and she keeps falling over. So I've got like a foundation, cheap foundation, like weighing down one side, but she's in self-watering purely because the water reservoir makes the pot really heavy. So that kind of keeps her down and stops her falling, all, falling around all over the place. But it also means that she's kind of bending at the stem. I'm really tempted to just chop her about here. Um, she would still have two leaves. She's got two leaves at the bottom. She's got two leaves at the bottom, three leaves at the top. And then there's like a meter in the middle where she has one, this one. Okay. And it's a stunning plant, like I love it. I love the shape of the leaves. Um, I'm not, I used to think that I was bothered about variegation, but I'm really not. So until Florida goes, prices come down. I'm more than happy with this, but just the growth pattern. She never used to be like this. Uh, and I think it's a light issue, but, and I can give like parts of her bright light, but unless I put her outside and she's delicate, like she burns quite easily. So I wouldn't want to put her outside. I'd need to like, really keep an eye on her and I know I'm not going to. Um, so, oh my God, there is a massive spider. Okay, it's not massive, but there is a spider living on her. There. Oh, I'm sorry. No, you are more than welcome to live there, love. So when I brought in my jade plant, she had a spider growing on her, growing on her. She had a spider living on her and I always let them stay in like, I've got no reason not to. Spiders are predators, so they can eat any bugs that I've got in here. Uh, but I seem to have got quite a few this year and they're like little like stripy ones that look really poisonous. So, um, mm, so yeah, I think she does have quite a few nose and there is actually here. Oh my God. Just the, a green node. So I may in fact, so there's one, two, three, four, four nodes at the bottom, really close together, like an inch between them all. And then one, then there's like one, two, three, four, five. So there's like four in a space about that big and then five in a space about a metre and a half. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna have to do something, but I, and I, I wanna chop her back, but, and I think that would help her and it would help me. In fact, I've just decided that I'm gonna chop her back. But knowing that I'm only gonna have two leaves left, I've got three at the top, which are really cute. I'll, this one will probably 
have to go as well. And knowing that I probably won't be able to root it is quite stressful for me. Foundation fell off, so I'll have to get back on. The foundation just weighs down this side. <laughs> when I repotted it, I couldn't bother to go and get any more soil and she needed a bit more. So I just filled in the rest of the scaps with worm castings, which I think might be what's prompted a few of the nodes to get going a bit. Interestingly, she's not started, I cut the top off a while ago. She's not started growing from there at all. So I think the best thing would probably be to chop her. I can't remember what this is. I seem to think it's a Florida green because if you look at the petioles, I know they don't look it now, but they are red and they are slightly knobbly. Uh, and but it's growing really, really quickly. In fact, if you look, oh, I was about to say if you look at this one, it, it looks like it's variegated, right? So you can see here, it look it does look like it's variegated. I am pretty sure it isn't. I think this is just because it's in water. There's just a lot of uh, water bursting, bursting the cell walls. So yeah, but we've got another leaf coming through there. And you know when I said I um, said before, I can't get any cuttings to root. Uh, apparently, rooting them in sludge is the way to go. I'll have to ask Dave what this is. I think it's just java moss. Okay, so when I saw that the philodendron Florida green had rooted in the java moss, I was like, well, obviously I need to cut this one, which I have done. Cut to here. Uh, and we can have a look at here. Where is it? Yeah, we have a bit of green coming through. So I've got no problem with this. She will be fine. She's got a hella light roots. She's in self watering, so I shouldn't let her dry out too much. So yeah, happy with that. But then I was left with a massive piece of Florida green. So I was like, well, I'll root it in the Java moss. And because of the way it's set up, like it can support itself. It doesn't need a pole or anything because, um, hey baby, um, it, I'll show you, hang on. Right, so. So it basically it can support itself because this keeps it upright. Ha, huh. and I also said to you before that she hasn't had any top growth. So I chopped it off, put it in here, you know, perfectly happy there's a node down there. Then I noticed that, oh, <laughs> this. There is a beautiful new bud emerging there. Which I, I was like, well, why is she not growing? Because normally they grow from like the next row node down. No, nothing happening here. I was like, fine, maybe she's just like given up. No, there she is. So hopefully I've not like ruined this one's chances. But also I went from having, this morning I thought I had one Florida green because I forgot that I had a prop here and now I've got three. So, mm. Anyway, that is all I have for this week. Uh, thank you very much for watching, please subscribe if you would like and I will see you next week. Bye! Also check out this aerial route. What's she doing? Like what? Why is... she's clearly got a direction. She has a plan. But what is it? Surely she'd detach onto here. Is she growing towards the wall? Like what? What are you doing love? I'm sure you know like it's fine, but, but.